One feature that was added in 3D Coat 4.9 is soft booleans in the cutoff tool whenever you are working in surface mode here in the Sculpt workspace. Now I should emphasize this only works in surface mode, so if you see the S next to the Vox Tree layer name, then you know you are in surface mode for those who may be new to the application. If you should choose a layer that is not in surface mode where you see the V that indicates it's in voxel mode, it's not available. And that's just the way that this tool works. It's based on geometry rather than voxels. So with that stated, I'm going to go back to this object here. Using the cutoff tool it will allow me to cut all the way through and without choosing soft booleans, it will create incredibly sharp edges. In some cases, that may be exactly what you want. In other cases, you may want some type of a bevel. You have the option to choose the bevel shape, whether it's rounded edge or flat edge bevels. In this first example, I'll choose rounded edge. I'm going to go to an orthographic view by clicking the cube icon or the 5 key on the number pad. And then I'll choose a side view. The next thing when using the cutoff tool is to determine if you want to cut all the way through or not. In this case, I want to cut all the way through, so I need to make sure our depth limit is not checked. So I'll zoom in. I'll turn wireframe off by hitting the W key. I don't necessarily need symmetry in this case, because it's going to cut all the way through the entire object. And let's hit the E key, and I'll choose a rectangular lasso. The E key just saves me from having to reach across the interface. Okay, rectangular lasso, and I will go ahead and make a cut here. So I'll zoom in. We had soft booleans applied. And I'll come out of orthographic view for a moment. So that gives us an idea. Let's undo that by hitting Control Z. And we'll go back to a side view, an orthographic view as well. This time, I want to change the bevel divisions count. Let's make it three. And we can smooth a bit if we need. All right, we'll try it one more time. Now let's zoom in. So yeah, that gives us more geometry to work with and it produces a much cleaner rounded bevel edge. All right, now the next thing is we want to look at using it to cut in partially, but not all the way through. So let's use depth limit. And I also want to reduce the bevel size. I want to make it a little bit thinner. Let's make it 0.5. And I don't necessarily, for this example, I don't necessarily need that many bevel divisions. We're going to change it to flat bevel. And if I want, I can also use things like the measure tool to create guides to use these so that I can line them up. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and select here. I can hold the shift key to constrain it. Okay, and then hit the escape key to drop it because otherwise 3D code assumes that we're going to continue creating. And if I need, I can go back and hover over the endpoints and move them around, but I'll leave them alone for now. If I want to see these guides in other tools, such as the cutoff tool, I want to check this. If I want it to snap, in other words, when I begin my cut, if I want to use that to snap into place can check that. If I need to come back and hide it later on to inspect the work, uh, I can hide it here. Or I can clear a single line or clear a number of them all at once. You can save it and load it later on. With that stated, let's go ahead and make another cut. So this time I'll hit the E key and I'll choose the polygonal lasso. So it's cut out now.
Okay, so that's going to conclude this look at using soft booleans in conjunction with the cutoff tool in 3D Coat. Thank you for watching. We'll see you next time.